Hey, uh, Kent Wilson, of course, <laughs> the CEO and president and founder of Alpine Four Holdings, their stock symbol ALPP. We are so glad to have him back. Uh, it's time to talk about uh, the world of solid state batteries because we are going into uh, a, a non-electric world coming up here, uh, or I should say a, a, a cord-free world with respect to energy. Kent, how are you, sir? Good to talk to you. I'm doing great. How are you? Good, good. Hey, listen, talk. give, give us a, a top down for the folks that didn't catch your first interview with us a few weeks ago about what you guys are all about and what you're doing. You know, we're a, a pretty progressive, uh, not in the political sense, but progressively uh, adapting technology uh, holding company. We're going after, you know, products and services that would change the world. And one of them we're talking about today is our solid state batteries that you totally brought up. So when we talk about solid state batteries, explain that, because I think there's uh, there's guys, uh, gals that are watching the program across the country and even listening on, on you know, apparently American Forces Radio Network, as well as Costa, yeah. that don't have any idea what a solid state battery is. Well, if you think about what the lithium battery has done for the world, such as your iPhone or this computer that I'm talking on right now um, or through right now, it's revolutionized everything. Uh, energy density, uh, the ability to carry a phone with lithium and power it is something that's been unique, but we've grown beyond that. This battery right here is a true solid state battery. It has about 50% more energy density than a comparable lithium battery. So what does that allow it to do? Allow a, a phone to talk more than 50% longer. It also, you can shoot a projectile through this and it will not explode. That's truly revolutionary. And so if you look at your phone, if you ever seen a lithium battery explode, you see all these cars that are Teslas that are catching on fire. Um, you certainly aren't going to put that in an airplane or put it what in space. What we do every There's day. Don't, don't, yeah. don't, don't we every single day, several thousand times a day, put, put it in an airplane? Well, well we do, um, but they're controlled by battery management systems that oh, have really, you know, that really protected it to a certain degree. But if you look at aviation, you're not going to stack an airplane full of lithium batteries and right. try to power it. Right. Oh, it, it would be mm -hmm. it would be incredibly difficult. Oh. Um, with these batteries, technologically, you could. And our next generation battery uh, is going to give you almost almost double the amount of energy density that this one has. So we're one of the world's first. I can you know, proudly say that uh, companies to create a true production based solid state battery. Companies like QuantumScape have been, you know, and they have a great product. I'm not bad, bad mouthing QuantumScape, but I do think that they're behind in their abilities to produce right. a battery like yeah. we are. And so we just, you know, we have a wonderful product that is, uh, has many applications. One of them that we're not going after is the EV market. And that's so, mainly so, so, because- so, so let me ask you about that, because obviously that's top of mind here, right? And I think yeah. the EV market, I th for my purposes, the biggest concern is the weight of an EV. I mean, at some point, you get yeah. the Golden Gate Bridge full of EV cars. Doesn't that thing just drop into the sea at some point? I mean, I, I don't, is anybody thinking about that? That those EV bills, I am now. Like yeah. those cars are like 2,000 pounds per square inch. So, but, but more importantly, that is a big addressable market. Why would you avoid that market? Or do you think uh, it, it's not viable? It is, it is a race to the bottom on profitability. No kidding. Um, yeah. you know, so we're going after more niche within a commodity. Uh, RV batteries, ESS systems, like we've been approached by one of the largest suppliers of micro energy grids sure. uh, in the United States. We're talking about billions of dollars in revenue and we can hold decent margins with that versus the EV market. They want to get to a price point that doesn't even cover our materials. Yeah. Now you talked about the weight of a battery. If my electric car was powered with these batteries, it would be about 30 to 40% lighter. Kent, are you on the trajectory that the more powerful the smaller the mechanism? Um, our batteries do provide a solution for that, but we're also uh, keenly aware of safety. Um, like in the RV industry, there are several, you know, let's say 200 RV fires a year where mm -hmm. somebody will die within 30 seconds of an RV catching yeah. on fire. Because yeah, but but so when cool. RVs catch on fire, usually because they're frying turkeys uh, outside. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, believe it or, it's, believe it's, it or not, there's been several of them that have been lit on fire due to lithium batteries. And so we're set to change that. Our batteries are just remarkably safe. We had it tested by the Battery Innovation Center in Indiana, which tests Tesla and some other companies, uh, products. And our batteries were, hands down, they said the best battery they've ever seen let me tell you what, Let me tell you why, hey, Greg said a question, but let me tell you why I like this. Because you are at the tip of the spear, pre-peak for the next generation of power. Because I th you're absolutely right. You're catching a falling knife with lithium. This, I mean, it's, it's, it really is, and, and I, I don't think we even know, and maybe you do, 
the addressable market because because the sky's the limit once you guys are the best practices, correct? Yes, and once we bring manufacturing completely to the United States and we can control that enterprise process, we truly will have a U.S.-based you know, enterprise pro delivered product right, right. that isn't relying on China or some of their rare earth materials. Our materials can be produced, you know, in the United States and they're proprietary. So it, it's something that we really can look forward to as being an American company. Uh, we've, you know, partnered with some Chinese companies on the tech side of things, but we truly will make this an American product that the United States can be very proud of. And from a toxicity standpoint, what's the comparison? Yeah, when you're sniffing those batteries, you're looking like nine volts, like Mike is on the way home. <laughs> uh, we do use some of the, 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 the traditional, um, what we could say no-nos, um, you know, uh, magnesium, those type of things that go into the, the batteries. However, we are we source them specifically not to be uh, unfair trade. The other side of that too is because our battery energy life cycle is so much longer, right. you know, every mm -hmm. one of these is going to take a, a half dozen of these uh, lithiums off the road. Hey, I, we yep. got like 30, we, we, can, we got like 30 seconds. When you talk yeah. about being able to shoot a bullet through that battery, is, is, does that indicate potentially a military ap uh, application? Like, would that be a customer potentially? Absolutely, and NASA as well. Wow. And Sully, I'll just say this. You come to Arizona, and we'll go out with my AR-15, and we'll, we'll pop around yes. and you can see it. Mike, Mike's leaving yeah. now. <laughs> See you yeah. soon, Ken. He does, he does, he does. Hey. He, and it's, instead of energy drinks, he does lick nine volts on the way home. Yeah. Let's go shoot some batteries. You guys got any ever -rated? Let's go shoot some batteries. You know what? Hey, you guys want to go shoot some batteries after the show? Yeehaw! Seriously. Man arrested for killing batteries. By the way, I do, he's right. There's, there's, there's legitimate RV fires. It's not just from some idiot in the Darwin Orange going, hey, watch me! Right. <laughs>